I'm Taylor Norman. I'm the executive editor of Neil Porter Books. I work on books for kids all the way up till age 12. My first job was not in the publishing industry, but it really was still in books. I was a bookseller. That was what I did as a 12 year old. Um, I did gift wrap and I did book selling, mostly of children's books. And then after that, I worked in a movie theater. Most people don't know that authors and illustrators are usually not linked at the beginning of a project unless they do both of the jobs themselves. So one of my favorite parts of my job is I buy a manuscript that usually arrives in my inbox like a PDF or a Word document and then I go out into the world, into Instagram, into you know New Yorker covers. Any, any source of art becomes for me a person who could possibly illustrate one of these texts. One of my favorite current projects that is about to come out is called Lone Wolf and it's an early reader series so it's a, a series of books for kids who are just learning how to read um, and it's about this character Lone Wolf who always just wants to be alone and across the first four books in the series he goes on a bunch of adventures, he goes to school, he gets a pet, he goes on vacation, he goes to the library. So a lot of standard settings for this audience but in this case the sort of hero's journey that he's on is just going back to being alone at the end of the day. This series really focuses on just it being okay to be yourself by yourself. Um, but it takes a really funny path to do that. So I'm really excited for those to come out. Had the opportunity to work on a few books that have won awards. So I edited The Eyes and the Impossible by Dave Eggers, which won the Newbery Medal this year. I edited Have You Ever Seen a Flower, which was Sean Harris's Caldecott Honor from 2021. Um, I edited The Other Half of Happy, which is by Rebecca Balcarcel and won a Pirabelle Prey honor and a graphic novel series called Low Writers in Space that won the Pirabelle Prey medal. The advice I'd give to myself as a new to publishing person is to always put a tracking number when you ship live art.